Hey everyone, it's Absolene, and before I get into this video, I just wanted to thank everyone who showed up to my table at Anime Weekend Atlanta. It was honestly such an amazing experience, and meeting you guys makes everything feel so real. Honestly, I can't thank you enough. I'll definitely be tabling at more conventions in the future to meet as many of you guys as possible because wow, what an experience. Today, I wanted to keep this tutorial a bit simple and shorter, and I'll try to explain my process as simply as possible, even though my animation process is all over the place. Disclaimer, I'm not a seasoned animator, nor am I much of a teacher. Many of you guys have requested tutorials for things and I always put them off because my methods are kind of a mess and I'm kind of not great at explaining what I do. But if you do want better guides, classes, and tutorials, you might want to check out Skillshare. Skillshare is a website that allows you to take classes on a multitude of subjects including freelance, lifestyle, marketing, writing, and many, many more. I'm interested in the animation animation and illustration section of Skillshare. There are awesome informative videos on After Effects motion graphics, traditional animation, and many different tutorials to kind of help you improve your art in general. Some classes that I've watched and I personally suggest are Draw a Circus of Characters Exploring Body Shape and Proportion by Nina Rykoff, Animating with Ease in After Effects by Jake Bartlett, and Frame by Frame Animation for Beginners by Marvin Tay. Skillshare was kind enough to sponsor my video today and it's frankly the reason I'm pushing myself to do a tutorial for once. So for all the people asking to do more tutorials, go thank them and maybe try out a class or two while you're there. In fact, Skillshare is giving away a two month trial for premium with unlimited access to classes. And let me tell you, two months is definitely enough time to take a multitude of classes. So it's definitely worth a try. And after that, it only costs $10 a month. So if you're interested, click the link in the description to get two months free on Skillshare and get some free knowledge. Hello fellow animation memers! Today, I'm giving you insight on my awful animation process. So, let's start off talking about the fact that I use Photoshop video layers, because that's something I do. I set the frame rate to 24 FPS, and I animate on 2s, 3s, and sometimes even 4s when I'm feeling a bit frisky. I'm gonna be teaching you animation memers how to do a more fancy head bob? A animation meme head bob, if you will. I've simplified it, I recommend you try it, promise me. It's only four frames. I know, I know, that's too freaking much for us memers, okay, I get it, I'm busy too. Just bear with me. Use my tutorial or just straight up the frames from my tutorial as a guide and it's good to at least try. Who knows, maybe you'll like it and you'll be like, hey, wow, I really did that. So this little bob loop that I'm working on was for the chime meme that I never finished because I was at Awa on Halloween. And it's almost too late to finish it now. So that's what I'm doing. The first thing you do is you make a sketch for your keyframe. Yes. Then you draw your keyframe lines and you take way too long on it because you're a perfectionist. Be sure to use big, readable shapes and nothing too detailed or you'll hurt your fragile animation brain immediately and you might give up. So since this is a mess, I'm going to speed it up and just talk about what ended up happening. So four frames. The first one I drew is a keyframe, which actually ended up being the third frame when I timed everything. Yes, I know it's a mess and I don't plan anything correctly. So the first frame will be the upward motion. This includes the physics as well, so the hair and the bow. So when the character goes up, the hair, the bow will go up, okay? You'll see I animate the physics, like the hair and the bow last, and then the initial animation of the body first. This just helps everything be more clear and easy as you're going along and doing the animation. You don't have to focus on all things at once. Just a tip that I do, if you wanna make your animation look hand-drawn every frame and still add like some kind of movement, just freaking trace the frame, grab it with the selection tool, and and move it. That way it still has the organic looking lines if you catch my drift. Wow. We made it to the second frame. In this frame, the body should go down and the hair will go slightly up before it bounces down. This will cause anticipation, really pushing the downward bounce of the hair. Here's the loop without anticipation on the second frame and here is the loop with anticipation on the second frame. Looks a lot better, right? Okay, so the third and fourth frame are the most important because these are the parts that will make your motion not stiff or boring or kind of come to a weird full stop. The third frame will go up and the fourth frame will ease back down slightly. And because I'm awful at describing what I'm trying to say, 
Here is a breakdown for you of all of the four frames I have created. If you do this and you understand this basic motion, you can really go freaking crazy with a bob. Honestly, just live your life, man. Do more frames, I don't care. Add squash and stretch and all this fancy stuff. Just freaking experiment. Because that's mostly what I do when I do animations, is I mostly experiment as I go. It's a mess. Okay, finished. So just use my guide, try it out, and boom. You did, you, you really freaking did it. You really did an animation bop. This, I promise you, will make the animation memers lose their f***ing minds. So do you want to be a video editor moving a head bob beta cuck? Or a frame by frame Sonic the f***ing hedgehog bobbing off a track? Also, I do consider tweeting a awesome form of animation. Please don't kill me. Here is a picture of a ferret. Thank you.